Um, yeah, I don't want a man that's going to argue with me because I'm not going to be happy if I'm going to be always arguing with another with my significant other there's no love in that yeah it's okay to disagree but when you're arguing and there's negative energy then no i don't want that okay that's not masculine that's toxic masculinity <sighs> buzzword <laughs> the buzzwords okay uh what is toxic masculinity you should know me. that you should know that. i'm at, yes i'm asking you how do you how do you define toxic masculinity well I grew up, I'm Mexican, and in my culture, there is a you lot You got to speak into the mic. Sorry. I'm Mexican, and in my culture, there is a lot of toxic masculinity within any Hispanic culture, basically, I feel like. Men is feel... There? Yeah. Don't you think that's a bit racist to say she's, that? She's speaking for all Hispanics. It's okay. Be quiet. It's a bit, Oh, yeah, I should. As the <laughs> You're white. white right? I'm be a white quiet. Should, <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, I well, to, to let me just defend it. So... To, to paint, to paint, hold on, is, hold on, let me just, to paint an entire race as saying that it's toxic. No, it's because there's, no, I'm just saying that what I've grown up with and what I've seen in maybe in my household or in my cousin's households with my family that's Hispanic, I feel like I can't talk about that because there is a, in our culture, there is a word where you describe a, toxic masculine man machismo and, yes is that it okay. yeah and that's a lot of men feel like they need to be that and i don't know i feel like i don't know i i could say a lot but say a lot <laughs> you can say a lot people get mad when i say a lot well, it's, it's part of the show <laughs> no i'm just saying that there's just there is that kind of perception where i guess men can't like are yes they could be the provider in the family but they also can't show emotion or stuff like that i feel like or they just get so mad or like their emotions are so high where they end up showing it in anger i feel like that happens a lot and i've seen that firsthand okay so you said toxic masculinity do you think do you think there's such a thing as toxic toxic femininity oh yeah okay of course why is it then you almost never hear about toxic femininity, but you hear toxic masculinity used all the time? All the time. Maybe because it's a bigger issue. Is it? And I think it is. So, well, my main qualm with this toxic masculinity thing is why do we have to needlessly gender toxicity? Can't there just be toxic people? I don't think toxicity knows a gender women can be toxic men can be toxic it just seems but is it being rooted like oh okay you're a man so therefore you have to do this this and you have to do this this and this therefore you can't do this this and this and same thing goes for women like but when it comes to a man i feel like toxic masculin masculinity can lead most often leads to violence against women that's what i think uh, so what exactly is toxic masculinity though i'm just because there's varying definitions and it's kind of a vague nebulous term so i'm just trying to my definition of toxic masculinity is a man who red pill cups uh, oh. super chatted 50 dollars oh, these politically correct answers are the reason we need strong fathers in the home are we seriously negotiating and compromising on the fact that it's acceptable to be promiscuous in a household where guidance is needed? Please don't. Please don't. Procreate. Pro procreate. Oh, okay. He's advising to not procreate. Okay, so your definition of toxic masculinity, Red Pill Club, thank you. Um, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like everybody's going to have their own opinion. If I give my opinion, this motherfucker is going to laugh at me and I'm kind of just done with it. So I'm. <laughs> you should, you shouldn't. I'll police. I'll police a little bit. Let's try to look. I know there was a heated moment there between you two. The Again, beginning. I, I encourage you behind me. I encourage you guys to, f you can get your flirt on after the show. I've been, I think there's a little, t <laughs> okay. I would encourage both of you to try to again turn the volume knob down on the on the uh, heat there a little bit, guys. So, you mentioned toxic masculinity. Um, do you think that's a sexist term? No. No. I don't really think so. 
Would would you I say? I think sexism causes toxic masculinity. Okay. Um, I don't know how deep, how far down the the rabbit hole I want to go on toxic masculinity. I could. <laughs> um, do you think there's toxic whiteness? I don't know. Oh, okay, she doesn't want to talk Dude, about it. Dude, don't ask me these yeah. questions. All right. Okay. So look, my basically my thing is is that. Um, I don't think we need to pathologize maleness or masculinity. I think I think it does a disservice because, and perhaps you might have a definition of toxic masculinity where it's it's here are the unhealthy gender norms that uh, or gender expectations on men. But I think a lot of times it's used in a way where it's almost demonizing all masculinity, and a lot of men interpret it that way. And men and boys are taught that somehow innately they are toxic just by virtue of having been born as men. And I don't think it's a particularly productive or helpful uh, term. I think it's really divisive. I think we ought to just address toxic behavior. And I, I do think, though, that perhaps toxicity maybe manifests itself in men or in women in their own sort of ways differently but i just think toxic masculinity is so is pretty divisive so but um only in america it's it's kind of a buzzword so um, it's only in america because they're running out of shit to teach in college so they're turning people on each other now it's it's maybe a psyop just turn the men against the women listen america people from the outside are looking in at america and laughing okay chinese the russian the japanese the koreans all these people watching us over here fight at each other, talk about shit that doesn't fucking matter. Real, the reality is you should just be living your life to be a happy individual and make sure you're contributing and giving back to society, not being a net negative, but a net positive. And if you're going to have kids, make sure they're contributing members to society. Yeah. I mean, as, for, as far as terminology goes, it's, I, it's, it's, it's a, all this shit is for people who have too much time on their hands and just want to sit around and feel oppressed for f no reason because they got their life too good. Their bills are paid. They don't have to worry about lack. Alvin you know? Sam super oh. chatted forty nine dollars and ninety nine oh, cents. Bangs, if you're going to use words like oppression and toxic masculinity, you better hold your feet to the fire and be ready to back it up with hard facts. It is disrespectful to insinuate men in for enforce involuntary servitude to this day. Yeah. Do you have a response to Alvin? No. 